Hello everybody, it is Dan the Bugman here with a video that no one has asked for, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to be letting real live bed bugs, I have them right here, I'm going to be letting them feed on my precious hard earned blood that I have produced myself. They are getting this meal for free. I'm not charging them anything for it. I'm just going to let them eat my blood. I'm doing this video because it seems like a good thing to do. It's like one of those things when a police officer first allowed to use their taser, they have to be tased first, right? That's a real thing, I think. It might just be made up. I feel like if I'm going to be killing bed bugs, at least I should know how they're making our customers feel and people feel whenever they are biting them. It's something that I've kind of wanted to do for a while, but I figured I should definitely film it. It's not something, honestly, I'm I'm super excited about doing. Uh, I'm going to be letting two bed bugs feed on me. There's probably about 15 bed bugs in this jar. I'm first going to be letting a small one feed on me, and then I'm going to be letting a large one feed on me. Hope you guys are excited. I am also very excited. I'm a little nervous. We are going to go ahead and get started. If you guys are watching this video, I hope you learned something. Please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. I post all kinds of good bug and pest control stuff like this. Let me know if you have any questions about what you're seeing in the comments. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these are the contestants that are about to have a free meal. The restaurant is only open for one day, so don't ask to come and drink some of my blood. It's just a one-time thing. If you want to get my blood, you're going to have to take it next time. As I'm picking around in here, I can see that these bed bugs have actually started to lay eggs on these pieces of paper, which is kind of disturbing. That means they're reproducing. Um, let's go ahead and flick that big one off. That one's too big. That one's a medium size. I really like the size of this one, and I don't know how old it is. I'm going to go ahead and just pick them up and put him on my forearm, and we're going to see what it does and how long it takes for him to get completely full. And I'm saying him, it could definitely be a her. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. And I'm surprised it hasn't started moving yet because it's definitely, oh gosh. Oh, it's already going, okay. So yeah, as soon as it got on that skin, oh, I can feel a little bit. I felt a little prick. So it's the same thing as mosquitoes. They inject a little bit of saliva so your body doesn't clot up the blood vein. And then they go ahead and start pulling out the blood. So yeah, I felt a little bitty just just a like a just a little like pinch, but I don't feel a lot, just a little bit. I can definitely see how people don't even know that they're getting bit by bed bugs, especially older people that have less sensitive skin. Of course, this is pretty disturbing to see. It almost feels like you can see it so good on my camera too. You can see it filling up. Yeah. Gosh. <clears throat> You know, it, it, I think it's almost one of those um, things where you feel pain that's not there because I almost feel like it kind of hurts. But I think it's just my brain telling me that it hurts because, I mean, think about how small that thing is. Try to get an angle from the side, like from... You can see it like perfectly warm right now. Yeah, it's it's taking a while. Oh no, he's getting there. You can see it when it's... It's getting bigger. Uh, You can see it getting blood into it. Yeah, it's turning, turning red. Gosh, I'm not super happy about this, honestly. It kind of freaks me out. As many bed bug jobs as I've done, I don't think one has ever bit me. I'm usually covered in pesticides. So, I think my heart rate's pretty high. And I, it makes me not want to do a big one. <laughs> uh. You can see it so good, like with this overview angle. Like you can actually feel it, like see it fill. Can you see it like with your eyes? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, it's so small though. This, you can see it like perfect, dude. It's it's crazy. And I'll zoom out for reference again. And I'm interested to see if my skin turns red. Like I said, I definitely felt it. It's not red around it currently. It's just normal skin. 30% don't react, I think. It's at 30%. I think I think it's 30% of people don't react mm. one bit. Yeah. The, Probably, Harry just mentioned about 30% of people don't react. It's the same as mosquito bites. Um, some people get big old whelps. Some people don't feel it at all. Um, so yeah, it is It is um, taking a decent amount of time. It's only been like three minutes. Three, three minutes. minutes, okay. Oh, I forgot to stop the, I forgot to start the clock, but yeah, the prediction was um, four or five minutes for the smaller bed bug. So it was pretty impressive how quick the bed bug started feeding as soon as it got on my skin. And it really makes me just want to like kill it after it's done. <laughs> I wonder if I really started to 
increase the blood pressure, like flexing my muscles, if that would have any effect on, if there's more blood flow, it, it might just like get a mouthful of blood and like <laughs> spit it out. Man, it's so do red. That, do that again. That might've worked. <laughs> it might, it might help it feed faster. It's like a pinching a cut makes it more blood come out. Cause so my body is trying to fill this hole that the bed bug has created, but whatever kind of chemicals are in the bed bugs saliva. So they have piercing mouth parts. So it's not a uh, teeth like humans have. It literally just has a, a straw for a mouth and like a pointy, pointy end to the straw. So it just sticks it in there and just starts sucking. The size of this bed bug is probably increased by about 50%. It looks to be pretty close to being full. So bed bugs are very flat creatures when they don't have a blood meal. When they do feed, their abdomen increases and it expands vertically. So it doesn't get much wider. Think of it as like a flat balloon. It kind of expands from the inside out. So the sides shrink in, the top gets bigger. Yeah, I'm wondering how much more it wants because it looks pretty full to me. About nine minutes in. Gosh, that's crazy. So I want to get it. I want to see what it does when it lets go. If it's oh, like... When it detaches. Yeah. If it's like, all right, time to go home or if it like kind of takes a nap. In normal circumstances, it would try to get back to the same spot that it was resting. But of course, I kind of just dropped it on there and it just took advantage of the situation that God presented it. I think it's gonna look a lot better with the bigger one too. <sighs> this one, it's like, it's noticeably bigger on camera. Oh, yeah. uh, it's like, it's at least three times the size it was. Gosh, that's insane. All right, 10 minutes of filming. I think my arm's gonna fall off. Oh, I. There he goes. Just detached it, but. Go. I hope it doesn't start feeding again. Yeah, I don't want it to start climbing up toward my sweater, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock it off. So, there you go. It's upside down. It's so fat, it can't flip over. <laughs> Sometimes, gosh, yeah, man, it's, I mean, this is the piece of paper it was on. You know, the body and the head and legs are the same size, but that abdomen is absolutely filled. Okay, so we just put the smaller bed bug back in that just fed on me. It is currently surrounded by maybe eight or nine other bed bugs. And there's not a lot of live bed bugs in here, but since we've put that one back in there, it has increased the activity of these bed bugs tremendously. So normally bed bugs are just sitting and waiting, waiting for a blood meal, just waiting to digest their blood or waiting for a new, a new host to come in contact with. But since we've put this bed bug back in there, it's probably released some pheromones. And also the heat from the blood has given these other bed bugs signals that there is food close by. So yeah, the, it is absolutely just surrounded with other bed bugs right now. Okay, so we're gonna find the next contestant and who wants to who wants to eat one more time before they all get destroyed. They have laid some eggs on this piece of paper. I'm gonna try to pull this piece of paper out. Um, it is currently covered in bed bugs. So I'm gonna try to get those off. Yeah, they're not coming off <laughs> very well. But I wanted to show you guys an egg. I guess you can, so zoom in on that little piece Bring on the edge. There we go, pretty, you see it well. Yeah. So those are the eggs. Tiny little bed bug eggs. And here's all the adults. There's that full bastard. Gathered around the one that has all the food. I'm just picturing them asking him, you know, hey buddy, where'd you get all this food? Tell me where, tell me your secrets, you know? Oh, okay, so. Here's your blood plug. <laughs> Okay, so for the main event, we're gonna get a big one and let him do its thing. Dude, this is not fun. <laughs> They're hard to grab. No. Okay, there's one bed bug. I'm gonna put him on this piece of paper here. 
What we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and give my left arm a break. We're going to use the right arm this time. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer on my arm. And let it do its thing. All right, here's the bed bug. I'll let you know when I feel it. I don't feel it yet. I don't think it's gone in yet. My heart is racing right now. Yeah, I don't feel this one at all. I felt the other one pinch a little, but it's definitely started because it's it's not moving and it's feeding, so. Yeah, the other one was translucent, so you could see it changing colors more rapidly, but the adult bed bugs are this brownish color, dark brown, so. We won't be able to <clears throat> see the actual redness at first. You will be able to see it at the end, but for currently it's still brown and very flat. And this bed bug has its head in the game. It's not moving its arms or legs, whatever you would call them. It's just absolutely still feeding. I did want to mention one thing that all of the research on bed bugs suggests that they do not transfer diseases. But I believe the research has come to that conclusion for two reasons. One is that bed bugs are not traveling insects. That means that for the most part, bed bugs will only be um, in one bed or one area their whole life, right? So. If a bed bug feeds on, say if two people slept in a bed together, a bed bug would feed on both of those humans. Oh, it's moving. That's peculiar. It's definitely not full yet. Oh. Okay. I guess um, maybe he wasn't happy with my service I provided him. That is strange though. It's only four minutes in to the feed. It definitely has more room. I've seen bed bugs much fuller than this one is. So that was strange. But as I was saying, bed bugs don't transmit diseases because they don't travel between humans. You know, they have one host their whole life. And also they don't transmit diseases because they will only feed after they have fully digested their previous blood meal. They will feed and then go back to their harborage area and they will spend weeks digesting this blood meal. That's very important to understand about bed bugs. You wanna try it? I'll try it once. Oh boy! Okay, Harry has just volunteered to risk his life for bed bug satisfaction. Like, it seems like nothing at first. Like, oh, you know, it's, I get bit by, you know, 100 mosquitoes every summer, but um, there's something about bed bugs that are just creepy. So I have shown no marks from the bed bug bites, which is interesting. We have our next contestant. Is it live? I don't have any marks on me. I didn't know I had bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were just fleas. Damn, that one's quick. <laughs> I feel like once it get, finds a place though, it'll latch on. Once it knows it's like got a blood meal. They don't like the light, so that might be disturbing them. Maybe we could turn the lights off. Boom. He said, all right, I'm full. All right, get off me. <laughs> God. It can't even move. It's so f***ing stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> it just Look, rolled over. Its belly is shimmering. <laughs> That's how you know you've been eating good. Any marks? Mm. God, dude. That was a good, that was perfect. Sure. God, dude, that, be careful, it might pop it. Use the paper. It's hard to tell which one is the one that just fed. It's one of the dead center. Oh, okay. Oh, there's one approaching it. They're not that gross. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be enough bed bug biting for one day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Those are bed bugs. They are ectoparasites. They are only pests to humans. They consume blood as their food source. And there are four or five bed bugs in the air that are gonna be very happy campers. That's about it. Thank you. Please like this video and share it with all your friends.